Hi, Shane Searson here to talk about the next daily drumming influences today on Mother's Day, or it was Mother's Day back in 2012 when I originally posted these. It is my mom, uh, Bessie Harrison. Uh, she passed away a couple years ago, but anyway, uh, I did a huge post. It was actually the most liked post I've ever had on Facebook, uh, talking about her being so supportive of my drumming career and buying me the drum sets, uh, putting them on credit and making payments and all that kind of stuff, but just so I could have what I needed. Um, and therefore, I put her as a drumming influence for me because she was so supportive, and my grandparents too, but my mom did so much to make sure that I had what I needed to be the drummer I wanted to be. Uh, she paid for drum lessons with Chuck Simons and then with Mike Ryan over at Chuck's Music Center. Uh, Chuck's Music Center was really close to Owen's where she worked. And back in those days, you could buy something on an account and you just made payments on it. But you could take it then. It wasn't like Layway. And she got my first drum set uh, for me and then I traded that in. Uh, in seventh grade, she let me pick a different one. And uh, the day Buddy Rich was in town, she uh, called me up and said, come down. And, and I traded my other one in and took a different set. And I had that set until I got to college. And basically what happened is when I got to college, I traded the set in and purchased it and started an account under my own name. And I actually had an account before that for a couple of other small things. But um, And then I was going into making a payment and they were looking at it. And I saw that the account under my mom's name, she was still making payments little by little. Uh, to, to Chuck's Music Center, and God bless Chuck Simons for letting us do that. Um, you know, single parent of uh, four kids. So she was still making payments on the set that I got in seventh grade, and um, little by little. So I asked them to just transfer all that over to my account, and I, I you know, paid it off and whatnot. But, um, you know, she was just making little payments here and there, uh, every month of some kind, and they took it. And you know, I'm sure that uh, Chuck was was very helpful and you know supporting and believing in me that this kid needs to have this and everything. So I'm, I could go on forever talking about my mom. Uh, everybody in Murray knew her. If you went to Owens Food Market, Bessie, that was her, um, and eventually Kroger after Owens shut down. But anyway, the support that she provided for me and never discouraging me as loud as I was the police were called several times to the house I didn't know about a lot of that till later you know, I was, she said oh you have to stop now there's been some complaints from the neighbors and stuff like that um, you know because the drum set was upstairs at the house and I would just wail and you know these houses didn't have great insulation and everybody could hear me and uh, I didn't really have a uh a filter if you want to call that call it that for appreciating the parameters of when to play and when not to play um, you know she wanted me to play when I got home from school but I wanted to go out and play with my friends and hang out and then when it got dark I wanted to go up and play in the room and she's you know she would be like why you've had all day why do you need to play now when I'm home but sometimes she tolerated or she would just go somewhere um, but I know one thing, I would put the headphones on and play along with, with records quite a bit. Uh, and, uh, yeah, little 45s or, or albums back in the day with the coily headphones. And you'd play too loud and the record would skip or something like that. But uh, that was a huge part of my uh, learning process in addition to whatever I was studying for the lessons. But uh, she would come home from work slightly after 5 or 6 and... There was a light switch at the bottom of the stairs and my room was at the top. I, that light would start flickering off and off. That meant she was home and you need to stop for a while. So anyway, I miss her dearly. Um, and uh, of course, when these type of things, birthdays, holidays, or Mother's Day comes around, it really makes you think. Um, and maybe I'll repost the original um, thing for, for Mother's Day for her. But I will say that... Um, you know, she deserves to be on this list, even though she's not a drummer. She's an influence to me as a drummer, so...
the influence for today on Mother's Day. My mom, Bessie Harrison, love you. Rest in peace.